Hello and welcome to my Color 101 guide. This is part two of three. In this guide, we'll be discussing using the satisfactory Calculator Interactive Map Color Converter to obtain in-game color codes. Also, we'll be discussing how light affects what color looks like in different conditions in the game. Now, the next thing you're probably saying to yourself is, oh, awesome, I've got my favorite color that I want to use that I, in, the, in the game. So all I've got to go is to a website, get these numbers, punch them in, and bang, I have my favorite color in game. Kind of. There's a filter applied by the game engine which makes the colors not the same. If you went to a website or an image manipulation program and used a color picker to give you color values, when you put them in here, you'll notice they don't translate. Now, there are tools available to help resolve that, and they are available on the satisfactorycalculator.com. There is several different ways you can make those changes. On the Satisfactory Calculator website, there are several different ways you can manipulate color. I have a tutorial series on how to use the Satisfactory Calculator. You'll see that on screen and there's a link below that will show you uh, the, how to use the calculator to load your saves and all that sort of stuff. I'm not going to go into that here because that's already covered in another tutorial. This is just about how to use the calculator to help manipulate color. The first thing though, without even needing to load your save into the calculator, if you wanted to do that thing I said before where you had a color that you wanted to get into the game, how do you get the color to give you the right values? On the calculator website, under the workbench menu, there is what's called a color converter. The color converter allows you to apply either a hex code or an RGB value, which will then give you the, the adjusted values that you can use in game, these three values here. For example, I've got a screenshot from in the game and I've used a color picker tool to select a bit of the dirt color there. Unfortunately, it's very hard for you to see, but I'm just going to copy that hex code and I'm going to paste the hex code here. And that's the color I want. So all I need now is to put 35.34 and 0.78 into the game. You do need to use the sliders. Typing is inconsistent. After you've uh, set the color, you just click update preset. And now whatever you paint with that color will be that color. One thing that I really need to stress about the colors in the game are, and now is a really good time to demonstrate this, is daylight. The lighting conditions in the game mean that when you look at the color from different angles, it looks like a different color. That is just how it is in the game. There's nothing you can do about it. The only thing I can give you information on is when you look at this color here on the edit screen, this color is the unfiltered value. So if you're trying to match a color, that's the color you will be matching from wherever your source is to here. As the game changes over time with daylight, that will change what the color looks like and can be varied greatly depending on the environment you're in in the game as well with where they have different fog effects, all of those things. That concludes part two. Stay tuned for part three or don't forget to check out the Satisfactory Guru website for heaps of tips and tricks on the wonderful game that is Satisfactory. Thank you.